Hi everyone, I'm Timothy Harfield, Senior Director of Product Strategy and Marketing for Intelligent Automation at Pega. At Pega, we're on a mission. We're on a mission to help our clients to realize the vision of the autonomous enterprise, a self-optimizing business that applies AI and automation to decisioning, operations, and servicing across the entire organization. The autonomous enterprise is one that is innovating and automating everywhere, all the time, in order to create effortless experiences for customers and colleagues alike. That's why in Infinity 23, we focused our energies on features and enhancements that will accelerate innovation through improvements to the developer experience in App Studio. that are gonna unify experiences for customers and back office employees and make it easier for organizations to continuously optimize through enhanced reporting, analytics, and artificial intelligence. Perhaps the most exciting feature of Infinity 23, which cuts across all of these three priorities, is the introduction of Pega Gen AI. With more than 20 generative AI boosters integrated across Pega platform, Pega Gen AI will improve the productivity of current Pega developers while also opening up greater opportunity to democratize access to low-code tools in a well-governed way. With that, let's jump in. To discuss what's new in App Studio with Pega Infinity 23, I'm joined by Sam Tremlett, Senior Product Manager for Low Code. Sam, what can you tell us about what's new in Pega App Studio with Infinity 23? Thanks, Timothy. Yeah, when we were looking at, um, you know, what kind of the major themes of, of this release would look like for App Studio, we wanted to make sure that we were focusing on um, three major things. One is assisting the development. So as someone is building in App Studio, of course, we want them to be as productive as possible. Now, a lot of that got uh, consumed with our, our Pega Gen AI. Those two things go very hand in hand. Um, and you'll see a lot of um, really great features in App Studio that are not only suggesting content for you, um, but also um, helping you build and get get to your outcomes faster than as fast as possible. Um, the next big theme was assisted enablement. So making sure that as you're using App Studio, um, you're getting to learn the tool better and better so that you can uh, be be the best kind of uh, most productive developer um, as you go. And so again, Pega Gen AI was a huge part of that story in addition to some of the, uh, smaller other updates that we did around documentation um, and helping App Studio be kind of as transparent as we could possibly make it. Um, and then we also wanted to focus on client feedback that we had heard. Um, so small gaps that we had had around things like work queues or data transforms, making sure that those were easy to do within App Studio, prevent some of the context switching that um, people have had to traditionally do that, that can waste time and, and slow people down. Um, and then a biggest one was around reuse, making sure that people can access the reusable components, use the time that's already been invested into building out you know, a strong shared layer, COE layer, reusable assets, um, and leverage them seamlessly within App Studio, see where they come from, quickly add them to your application, customize them if need be, or use them as is. Um, so that was really kind of the focus that we that we started with this release. And moving forward, I think we'll continue kind of down this path of generative AI. It's a very evolving um, trend that we have. I think we'll look to make things even more um, even more built out than kind of what we have in, in Infinity 23 as kind of an introduction to Pega Gen AI. I think we'll see it be more hands-on, be able to do more, build more, um, and provide more, more context to the developer as they're working, learning, um, and using App Studio. And then I think we're, we're really looking to bring um, uh, transparency into App Studio. So as people are building, they can see what they're building, making sure they have the right guardrails on that. Um, and being able to browse and find assets very easily. So I'm um, super excited for the Infinity 23 release. Definitely super excited for the stuff that's coming up next. We have some awesome features that I can't wait to show off um, when we do this uh, for Infinity 24. Thanks, Sam. So you mentioned a few of the ways that generative AI is driving new experiences for App Studio users. Experiences to improve developer productivity while also opening up the potential to democratize access to low-code tools even further and without introducing additional risk. But these App Studio experiences are just the beginning. To discuss the role of generative AI in Pega Infinity 23 more generally is Drew Pekarski, Senior Director of Product Engineering for Intelligent Automation at Pega. Drew, what more can you tell us about the ways in which generative AI will enhance the user experience in Infinity 23? Yes, thanks, Timothy. So yeah, Gen AI, super excited to, uh, to introduce it as part of the Infinity 23 release. Um, you know, it's something that has really changed the way in which the world works. Um, and so, one of the things that I'm most excited about is baking in this technology uh, directly into our platform to be able to let us leverage it for use cases like 
AI assisted development, but also our customers leverage it for all their use cases to help their applications achieve their outcomes in better ways. So uh, some of the goals that we set out for Infinity 23 was, of course, make it as easy as possible to use this gen of AI as part of the platform, whether that is in assisting authoring. So as you use Infinity 23, you'll see gen AI suggestions of helping you build your application faster, easier, more efficiently. Uh, come up. We also, like I said, introduced a new rule type called the Connect Generative AI rule type that we've leveraged, that our strategic apps have leveraged, and we're excited for our customers to leverage as well. So some of the major highlights, I know I love uh, the workflow generation. So as you go build out your stages and steps, the Generative AI can suggest those stages and steps based upon, uh, upon the case type that you're authoring. Uh, from a runtime use case, the chat with your data, to be able to ask you know, your system any questions and have it build and generate the insights and reports that you need. Um, and lastly, like I said, that core foundation, that rule type that we've built made it easy for everyone to leverage uh, this generative AI uh, with the Connect Generative AI rule type is something that I think is gonna really change the way in which you know we build software and the world builds software. Thanks, Drew. Of course, artificial intelligence is nothing new to Pega. In addition to new capabilities made possible with the introduction of Pega Gen AI, Pega Infinity 23 also brings enhancements to machine learning capabilities in Pega Process AI. Andy Bober is Senior Director of Product Management for Applied AI at Pega. Andy, what's exciting you the most in Infinity 23? Thanks, Timothy. It's hard to pick from all the cool new AI features in Infinity 23, but here are a few that exemplify our key release goals. First, ease of use. We are providing more analytics out of the box, making it easier than ever to inject AI directly into your Pega workflows. One new feature I'll highlight is case classification. With just a few clicks of the mouse, all in App Studio, you can set up natural language processing to classify pick lists and text fields, which is particularly useful for automating the routing of casework. For example, we can predict a claim code or a service category and use that to auto route the case to the right person or team. Second, breadth and flexibility. A favorite new feature of mine is the custom outcome prediction, which expands how and where AI can be applied to work in general. It's super easy to set up and it lets our clients predict any outcome at any step in a case. For example, if the expected cost for a case is going to be above a certain threshold or if that case is going to be abandoned. And finally, performance. We continue to invest in the overall performance and effectiveness of our analytics. We've improved our adaptive gradient boosting model and introduced a new transformable model for natural language processing that delivers a significant improvement in predictive accuracy. Actually, I'll sneak one more in because it's kind of the chocolate and peanut butter of AI for you peanut butter cup fans out there. I know Drew covered the amazing progress we've made with Gen AI. And in Process AI, we've tied this together really nicely with our prediction widget. The widget provides a visual explanation to the user of the factors that are driving the prediction result that they see on their screen. We now use Gen AI to complement that with a written summary of the model. AI to explain AI, cool stuff, check it out. Hope this helps and thanks for your time. An autonomous enterprise is one in which back office users are the exception and where customer experiences are exceptional. To talk about UX improvements in Pega Infinity 23 are Pega's Sean Wardis, Senior Director of User Experience and Sam Alexander, Principal Product Manager for User Experience. Sam, Sean, how have we seen our clients benefit from the new Constellation UX experience since its introduction? And what can we expect to see in the deep dive video you've just produced? Pega Infinity's Constellation UX was a big hit at this year's Pega World Inspire event. And no wonder, Constellation and App Studio are at a state of robustness and maturity that many clients are adopting it to accelerate design, development, and deployment of their mission critical apps. True, we're seeing business people and developers shoulder to shoulder, focusing on outcomes rather than one-off design, one-off business logic stuck in multiple front ends. Clients are reaping the benefits of Constellation, which is boosting end user productivity, expanding opportunities to use multiple experiences with their Pega solution, and also using the new authoring paradigm that is truly center out to dramatically speed up and improve application delivery, maintenance, and upgrade. That's right, and it only gets better in the upcoming Infinity 23 release. So whatever your role is in delivering a, a Pega solution, you're going to find value in what Constellation UX in, a, in Pega Infinity offers. We'll share updates on enhancements to the UX authoring experience, core end user experiences, insights and reporting, and much more. Thanks, guys. 
Now, it's impossible to talk about effortless user experiences without also talking about accessibility, a passion that I know the two of you share. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, one in four adults in the US lives with a disability. Accessibility, therefore, is an integral part of our product lifecycle. Starting the design phase, we discuss and build prototypes of optimal solutions for features so that they meet and ideally exceed the expectations of all our users, including those needing assistive technologies. In Pega Infinity 23, we've made significant improvements in support of out-of-the-box compliance with third-party standards. Jill Power is Senior Manager for Accessibility Experience at Pega. Jill, what can you tell us about accessibility improvements to our Constellation design system in Pega Infinity 23? We have since embraced this process for all new features introduced, and as mentioned, we have even begun to embed some of these practices within our authoring tools. Some of the bigger challenges we faced in our applications were making sure our keyboard-dependent users, as well as our screen reader users, could have quick and efficient access to all content and functionality, especially in some of our complex interactions. Some of the exciting updates in Infinity 23 include a streamlined approach to navigating complex tables, improved keyboard focus for such dynamic interactions, as well as the introduction of keyboard shortcuts for efficient navigation within a page. Check out our deep dive into accessibility for Infinity 23 for more details. Thanks, Jill. I know that you'll agree that accessibility is a tide that raises all ships. Through empathetic design and a desire to support standards compliance on the part of our clients, we're not just improving the PEGA platform experience for disabled persons. Accessible design is good design, and good design helps everyone. So to summarize what we've talked about in this short video, PEGA Infinity 23 helps developers to accelerate innovation by automatically generating low-code workflows using PEGA Gen AI, by making it easy to securely discover and share reusable components across projects, and by decreasing the time necessary to create and manage data in external systems. Pega Infinity 23 unifies experiences for end users by making it easy to embed accessible self-service workflows in any channel, providing back office employees with a single, unified and prioritized view of all their workflows, and orchestrating work within end-to-end -end customer journeys that cut across applications. And it promotes continuous optimization by generating reports from conversational prompts automatically classifying, routing, and prioritizing work with new AI-driven predictions, and visualizing end-to-end -end workflows to continuously find and fix business process inefficiencies. For deeper dive videos on each of these topics, along with documentation, training, blog posts, and more, please visit the What's New page on community.pega.com. Thanks.